in today's video we will be talking about get 2020 so i have divided the video into five subsections the uh, section one will cover what is gate exam and what are the benefits of cracking this exam with a good rank in section two i'll be talking about the exam pattern of gate physics exam then thirdly we'll be talking about we'll be and i will analyze the gate physics paper in uh, gate physics syllabus in great detail and in section four we'll be analyzing last three years papers so that we can get a deep insight about the nature of this particular exam and at last we'll be giving you five important important tip, tips which will help you to secure a good rank in your gate exam so without any delay let's start so we'll start with the uh, section one so section one is what is gate exam so gate exam is basically a national level exam which is conducted by iisc indian institute of science uh, bangalore and other seven iits annually once in a year uh, generally in the month of february and this test is basically test the comprehensive understanding of a candidate and um, different graduate students of engineering and technology and postgraduate students of science background can apply for this particular exam the uh, full form of get is graduate aptitude test for in engineering although science students can also appear in this examination so most of the job opportunities and uh, other things are limited to engineering students only but still there are some options for the science students especially for the physics students or chemistry and mathematics students so those things we'll be uh, talking about in this particular video so after cracking this gate exam you will be given uh, some certificate where your gate score will be mentioned and that gate score will will remain valid for three years so you can utilize your gate score for three years in uh, applying different jobs phds or mtech okay so we have discussed what is gate exam let's uh, look at the different benefits if you crack this exam with good rank so firstly uh, what you get the most good thing or best thing you can get to get is to get PSU okay now engineering students have uh, different POCs to apply but uh, science students especially in physics we can apply for PSU in only PSU which is ONGC and in fact this is the best PSU among all the PSUs in India so ONGC so what are the post uh, physics graduate can apply so firstly we can physics uh, graduate can apply in uh, geophysicist and uh, what is that that is uh, one for surface and another for wells okay so two types of posts are there some post is there suppose uh, five or some three in this way posts are distributed for physics students uh, let's talk about the eligibility criteria you should have a uh, good gate rank or good good gate score in your gate examination and when it takes only the last year gate okay the current year gate suppose you crack in 2020 then you will be, uh, will be able to apply in 2020 only you will not be able to apply in 2020 20, 2021 okay let's uh, talk about the eligibility so you have to be a post graduate in physics with msc sorry with electronics and with uh, at least 60 percent marks in your msc level and what are the other things uh, that's it okay and in both the surface and will both the eligibilities are same in both the cases you have to do this uh, next job opportunities is what is that uh, okay brc the most popular among this brc so you can uh, if you get a uh, uh, get rank under 100 you will be directly called for interview uh, and if you don't qualify if you don't crack get with good rank then uh, then another possibility is there you can give you can appear for online examination because which is conducted by bark itself 
and if you get good score in that examination uh, again you will be called for interview so the interview list is uh, decided based on both gate rank and the online examination which is conducted by brc so brc is a good platform for uh, the msc students to get a good job opportunity to get okay <laughs> and the eligibility criteria is same almost same uh, no electronics is required if you don't have electronics in your msc level then also you can apply for this particular job but you need to have 50 60 percent marks in your msc level okay the next job opportunities which uh, you will you can get is cabinet secretariat cabinet secretariat and uh, the designation of this post is senior uh, research officer okay so although the eligibility criteria is uh, based on msc like uh, you have to uh, look 100 percent marks are allotted from the gate exam and in addition to it 25 percent uh, 25 marks will be for the uh, personal interview okay and uh, you need to have uh, at least 40 percent uh, uh, marks in this particular uh, personal interview to be eligible for this uh, to be in the cutoff list okay so uh, 25 40 percent of this 25 marks you uh, need to score in the personal interview that is the minimum and then the merit list will be formed so this is the three most prestigious job which you can uh, get to uh, your get exam the, i'm talking about the physics uh, aspirants uh, chemistry as aspirants can also avail this particular exam but i'm specifically talking about the physics aspirants okay and next uh, um, very good uh, job opportunities is coming from uh, drdo here also uh, they ask you uh, for get score and but uh, uh, drdo is a little flexible they uh, they allow you to use your get score from uh, previous three years Suppose if you qualify your GATE exam in 2020, then you will be able to use this GATE score in 2020, 2021, 2022, 3 years. Okay, so this is also provide you some post of scientist B. And I think uh, in all the post, you need to have 60% marks in your post graduation level. Okay, so these are all uh, job opportunities from GATE exam. Uh, for the timing, I remember only these things. There may be some other opportunities from GET exam. So, if you know, you can uh, tell me in the comment section. Uh, other than this, you can also do PhDs in IITs or some research institute using your uh, good GET score. Okay. And you can also take admission for MTech. So, these many possibilities are there if you qualify GET with uh, good rank. Okay, so our section 1 is over. Let's uh, move towards the section 2. Okay, so let's talk about the exam pattern of this uh, GATE physics exam. So, the uh, dem a demo exam is given in the GATE official website. So, as you log in, you will be given uh, such interface where you will be given provided, you will be provided some instructions. So, go through the instruction carefully. You will be given 10 minutes around to uh, read this instruction so as you can see there will be 55 questions and question number 1 to 25 will be of one mark and 26 to 20 55 are of two marks so 50 marks will come from general attitude section and the uh, remaining marks will come from the physics sections okay and after uh, reading this you will be clicking on the check box so when you click on the check box you will be uh, you will be directed to the main question paper okay so it will take some time to get processed so as you can see general aptitude and physics are separated and you can uh, select an option and uh, you can uh, do save and next or you can do mark for review and next so uh, one thing is to um, mention here that if you do mark for review and next and if you forgot to uh, deselect the options at the end of your exam so it will be taken as answered okay so be careful about that and you can uh, directly go through any questions uh, using the pilot given at uh, the right hand side of the screen and for numerical answer type questions you will be able to use 
uh, this kind of interface and uh, calculator is also uh, will be also be provided uh, on on corner of this portal or uh, interface you can easily calculate something and you can say and uh, what are the other things that you'll be providing the whole questions uh, question paper uh, you can if you click on the question paper will be uh, able to visualize the whole question paper at one go so you can also visualize that so in this way it's a very handy uh, interface where there will not be much problem in handling questions so hope this will help you in understanding the nature of this exam question paper so in section 3 we will uh, going we are going to analyze the syllabus in great detail so here i have prepared the syllabus in a good form you can see it is easily visualizable it is easily visualizable and you can you can take help from this i will be sharing this uh, these slides on our facebook page please follow the page and you can download the uh, this course from the, our facebook page the link will be given in the first comment okay so let's start with mathematical physics so what are the topics which are there in mathematical physics for your get exam okay look this syllabus is based on the latest syllabus released by uh, iit delhi so this time iit delhi is conducting the get exam so let's start uh, firstly with uh, mathematical uh, physics what are the things are there so linear vector space basis orthogonality and completeness so uh, not much questions uh, come from this uh, particular section still sometimes uh, you given uh, give, you are given some questions like if you uh, if you suppose you are given two vectors and uh, some unknown constants are inserted in the question and you are asked to find out that uh, unknown constant using uh, using uh, your linearity orthogonality or completeness conditions okay so you don't need to worry about this particular section just uh, just go through the concept and some formula from this uh, then matrices this is very important for your get exam net exam everything so matrix problems of matrix are um, basically easy for your get exam they don't give you much complicated problems like uh, they will give you some uh, matrix like this and they may ask you sometimes to find out the eigen values or sometimes they will give you some uh, two eigen values and they will they will tell you to find out the determinant or eigen uh, or trace or something like that so very easy questions come from this particular uh, topic but nowadays you <laughs> must be saying that the pattern of this get exam has been changed dramatically so basically they are uh, they are setting questions of higher level means complex uh, means tough questions so you have to be ready with all the concepts from this particular sections matrices uh, then vector calculus it is easy you know the linear differential equation so you will definitely get one to two questions from this particular uh, linear differential equation so there are some there are some formulas for this particular topics if you analyze those formulas and uh, practice problems from those then you will be easily able to uh, answer the questions in the get exam in get exam you will not be getting um, complicated question from differential equation uh, then elements of complex analysis this is also very important quasi riemann condition quasi theorem similarity residue theorem and application you will definitely get two to three problems from this question uh, in the uh, uh, upcoming section i will be talking about the number of marks which is allotted in these uh, sections mathematical physics classical mechanics quantum mechanics etc etc then laplace transform fourier transforms uh, fourier analysis elementary ideas about tensors covariant quantum mechanics tensors lebesgue bitter symbol and cristobal symbol so among these lebesgue bitter symbol is very important some uh, in in few years uh, questions came from lebesgue bitter symbol and cristobal symbols so i will be providing uh, and in fact i have provided some formula sheet on this particular topic on our facebook page so if you scroll down our facebook page you will be getting this particular concepts and in or in near future also i will be sharing this kind of formula sheets on our facebook page okay so please follow that uh, let's uh, talk about the uh, next topic of physics is classical mechanics so firstly it starts with uh, d alembert principle then cyclic coordinates variance principle lagrange equation of motion central force central force uh, problem are very specific okay you practice few types of problems from this central force and you'll be able to uh, solve questions from the get exam and it will come in uh, two marks question so it will give you extra boost okay 
scattering problems. So um, I have discussed a few problems from scattering section in some of our Sunday set videos. You can go and watch them. I have gathered and five problems in one Sunday set video, so you can go and watch them. Okay, then rigid body motion, small oscillations, uh, Hamiltonians, Hamilton's formalism. This Hamilton formalism is very easy and it comes in the net exam also. So you can find out the Hamiltonian from the Lagrangian or sometimes you may be given Hamiltonian uh, you will be asked to extract the Lagrangian. So these are basically straight forward concept, Poisson bracket, space STR, special theory of relativity, low transformation. Okay. Now in case of net exam, they have uh, set difficult problems on this particular topic STR. But in gate exam, you will be getting uh, simple without uh, much calculation. But concepts will be involved that you have to uh, look into the problem with your deep understanding. Then only you will be able to understand, uh, sorry, answer. Otherwise, you can't. Then relativistic kin kinematics, mass, energy, equivalency, potency square. <laughs> okay. Then third topic is electromagnetic theory and this particular chapter covers uh, takes the maximum number of marks in your gate exam the maximum proportion of, of questions will come from this uh, electromagnetic theory so firstly it starts with solutions of electrostatic and magnetostatic problems including boundary valley problems then dielectric and conductors maxwell's equation four maxwell's equations are there and and in in all almost all exams you uh, are asked some questions from this maxwell uh, equation directly or indirectly then scalar or vector potential few things coulomb gauge and lorentz gauge <laughs> these two things are uh, like a bonus thing in your examination very simple questions come from this two particular topic then electromagnetic waves in and their reflection refraction interference diffraction and polarization these topics are a little bit critical or um, hard to answer uh, basically i should say it's a little confusing but uh, in all in almost every year you get some questions from these topics and if you can understand this uh, in a good manner or correctly then you will be definitely able to answer questions from these particular topics uh, then pointing vector pointing theorem energy and momentum of electromagnetic waves radiation from moving charge so the radiation from moving charge this concept is a little unconventional still you need to read it from your uh, from the griffiths book and it is illustrated in a clear manner there if you read that particular topic from griffiths electrodynamics it will take a day then uh, any, if any question is set from that particular topic you will be able to answer that uh, quantum mechanics, postulates of quantum mechanics, uncertainty principle, Schrodinger equation in one, uh, then one dimension, two dimension, three dimension, potential wells are problems. Particle in a box, this topic is very popular and important too and I don't need to say much about it, you know it very well. Then transmission, transmission through one dimensional potential barriers, harmonic oscillators, hydrogen atom. Hydrogen atom is a gem. Look, this concept is a little bit lengthy, but it is very easy and you get questions in your uh, written exam and in interview also you are asked these questions from this particular topic, hydrogen atom, the linear vectors and operators in Hilbert space, angular momentum and spin, addition of angular momentum, this addition of angular momentum, this uh, topic you can skip uh, because a lot of uh, complicated co concepts are involved and not much questions come from this particular topic so you can avoid it or you can just uh, memorize the formula or if you are interested you can go deep into the, into the topic but for the timing as you are lacking of time you can skip that time independent perturbation is the most important among uh, all the topics of quantum mechanics elementary scattering theory so two types of scattering are there in your gate syllabus one from classical and from quantum okay so and both are very important so you should this you can you should be able to distinguish between these two topics and uh, solve some relative uh, related problems so that you can get answer in your get exam then thermodynamics and statistical physics laws of thermodynamics microstates macrostates phase space ensembles partition functions then free energy calculation of thermodynamic quantities classical quantum statics as maxwell boltzmann fermi dirac and uh, etc 
those statistics are there classical statistics and quantum statistics so there is you you can make some formula sheets or i have uh, provided the whole formula sheet of solid state physics on our youtube channel short notes videos you can um, go through the playlist and you will get you will get that that will be really helpful for you i have uploaded uh, short uh, short notes on some topics and i'll be uh, trying to upload more in in the future then degenerate from the gas black body radiation and plasma distribution law those einstein condensation no einstein condensation is a good very good topic and i have also provided formula sheets in the um, facebook you know facebook page and i have also discussed some problems uh, based on this both einstein condensation only on our uh, on one of our sunday set videos in recent sunday set videos you can go through that and uh, there i have discussed five problems you can when was them first and second order phase transitions transitions phase equilibria critical point uh, atomic and molecular physics spectra of one and many electron atoms ls and jj coupling hyperfine structure zeeman stark effect electric dipole transition and selection rules ro uh, rotational and vibrational spectra of atomic <laughs> molecules electronic transition in atomic molecules hank condon principle raman effect nmr esr x ray spectra so spe x ray spectra i have discussed I have made a uh, Sunday set video on this particular topic X-ray X-ray spectra, and I have tried to cover uh, the formula sheets and some problems, high problems, and I hopefully will be benefited uh, to a great extent from that particular Sunday set video. Go and watch the lasers, Einstein coefficient, population inversion, two and three levels. Uh, these are very limited concept and important too. So. you can easily get answer questions from these topics not much uh, concepts are involved in this particular topics you can easily get over it you can easily um, get this concept solid state physics elements of crystallography diffraction methods for structure determination bonding in solids lattice vibration and thermal properties of solids free electron theory band theory of solid nearly free electron and tide bending models metals semiconductors and insulator conductivity mobility effect mass optical dielectric and magnetic properties of solids elements of superconductivity type 1 type 2 superconductors meissner effect and ohmic integration the last topic superconductor is very important for your uh, a gate exam you must need to understand and formulate all the formulas okay basically sometimes you are given some conceptual questions from this particular topic like Cooper pairs and what is the origin of superconductivity and all those stuffs, and you may be confused if you don't understand this topic from a good quality book. Okay. Uh, next, electronics. This particular topic of physics is very vast. Still, we need to cover this particular topic. Semiconductor devices, diodes, bipolar BJT, bipolar junction transistor, field effect transistors. operational amplifiers op amp negative feedback circuits those circuits which are have negative feedback okay so as you know that inverting amplifier it is the case so this is the input base input this is uh, input resistance this is the feedback resistance this is the bit output so this type of circuit is a negative this is the negative feedback so this type of negative feedback circuits will come into examination the positive feedback circuits will not come because it is not given in the syllabus if it is come you can complain <laughs> okay then active filters and oscillators regulated power supplies basic digital circuits logic circuits sequential circuits flip flops counters resistors aid d by a converters etc nuclear physics this is mm, i find this topic very easy because i have done i had my special paper on nuclear physics so i find it very easy nuclear radii and charge distribution nuclear binding energy electric and magnetic moments nuclear models liquid drop model liquid drop models and integral mass formula fermi gas models of nuclear nuclear cell model nuclear force and two nuclear problems alpha decay beta decay electromagnetic transition in nuclear rutherford scattering nuclear reaction fission fusion and conservation laws these are things which are there in nuclear physics formula. but most of the time questions come from this uh, semi empirical mass formula nuclear radii charge distribution Uh, sometimes in uh, from alpha decay beta decay so you get and from sometimes some rather for scattering so many things are there in nuclear physics but i will try to provide you some formula sheet 
from this nuclear physics so that you can answer um, questions without go going into the deep of this particular problem because those who want to um, do research or something in nuclear physics those things are very nuclear physics are very important for those students only and those for who want to go into bark vrc for them nuclear physics is a gem okay and then other than that you there are not much scope in nuclear physics okay particle physics particle accelerators and detectors elementary particles photon variance meson leptons and quark model and with this the syllabus of gate ends so as you can see as compared to your net exam the syllabus of gate is very precise and only piece, only limited concepts are there in your gate examination and that is why in your gate examination uh, questions from the surface is asked okay so don't worry uh, try to cover the whole syllabus don't leave anything from the syllabus if you skip anything from the syllabus you will skip will be skipping questions in your get exam okay okay in the next section we'll be talking about the we'll be analyzing the three previous years papers and that will give you a brief insight about the nature of this get exam get physics paper okay so let's start so here we have taken the last three years get paper 2017 get 2018 and get 2019 and we will be observing how many questions are set from each topic of the get exam so in get uh, get syllabus you have seen there are only eight sections uh, because uh, solid state physics and electronics are combined then nuclear physics and particle physics are combined i have detached them i have isolated them and uh, converted the sections into 10 sections okay so we'll be talking about in terms of 10 section so in gate 2017 you have seen that in math for mathematical physics only 10 questions come and in gate 2018 9 questions come and get sorry that is the marks 10 marks come came from gate 2017 and 9 marks came from 2018 and from gate 29 and 7 marks came so you see that almost 7 to 10 marks is coming so this this uh, this contains a good amount of marks in your gate exam in the classical mechanics 12 10 40 so you can understand the importance from the marks distribution for electromagnetic theory 12 14 15 so this is most number of questions come from this particular topic emt then quantum mechanics 12 8 15 thermodynamics and statistics 10 12 6 so look in gate 2019 only six marks came from get uh, this thermodynamics and statistical physics so it's highly probable that in get 2020 you'll be getting you'll be given uh, more marks from this thermodynamics so you have to give special stress on thermodynamics and statistical physics then atomic and molecular physics 482 so this for this particular topic also in atomic and molecular physics in 2019 only two marks came so in 2020 you will definitely be given around at least 10 marks so give a special stress on atomic and molecular physics okay so i have observed only in these two uh, topics atomic and molecular physics and uh, thermal and statistical physics these two topics will give you a blast it will definitely give you at least 20 marks the both two uh, sum of two then solid state physics 8 10 10 so it's a uh, maintaining a constant amount so in the get 2020 also it will be it's not unlikely to get 10 marks from this particular topic electronics 859 so it's marginal uh, you may expect 6 marks from get 2020 then uh, nuclear physics 673 so only 3 marks came from nuclear physics but uh, you know in idea there are not uh, many faculties i don't know any faculty who is uh, working in nuclear physics though um, i don't think much questions will be set from nuclear physics still in 2019 only three marks three marks came so in 2020 it's highly likely that uh, eight to ten marks will come from not eight to ten marks around six to eight marks will definitely come from this nuclear physics section then particle physics three two four so one or two questions one in one marks question and one in two marks question you can get 
so you can expect around 3 to 5 marks from particle physics because particle physics syllabus is very less you can uh, finish it in um, 2 hours if you have read it already you can revise it in 2 hours so that is not a big issue so some particular problems are there in uh, from particle section particle physics section so you can easily handle that so you have one, which topic you have to give a special stress firstly quantum mechanics then thermal and statistical physics atomic and molecular physics then uh, electromagnetic theory look electromagnetic uh, although electromagnetic theory give uh, giving you is giving you uh, more marks but it is very difficult to answer questions in in your examination hall from electromagnetic theory so i would uh, suggest you not give a special stress on electromagnetic theory but don't get stuck in the problems of electromagnetic theory just you try the question if you can do it do it mark it otherwise skip it okay you don't need to spend much time on the particular question okay so in this way in the last section we'll be giving you some tips five tips which will help you to secure a good rank in your get 2020 exam so five tips i'll be writing because these five tips are very important so i have noted it down i'll be writing it for you you can also copy it on your copy okay so tip number one what is that okay give full length tests it will help you to strengthen your concept recalling power uh, look if you give full length test then you have to you have to recall all the concepts from all the topics but instead of that if you give only um, chapter specific test then it will uh, you will be able to recall the uh, concepts from a particular topic or chapter and that will not help you in your get exam in get exam you have to answer uh, questions from all the topics so full length test is uh, very um, beneficial for you and tip 2 i have uh, kept uh, while uh, trying to while trying while writing the examination don't uh, get stuck in a particular problem okay suppose you are solving a questions from electromagnetic theory that is uh, the concept is known to you but that is a little critical so you spend uh, 10 to 15 minutes on that and finally i am assuming that you solve the question and even after that you are in big loss because in that 10 to 15 minutes you can solve uh, questions of more marks okay and by any chance if you uh, make some mistakes in the question then it will uh, destroy you okay so don't get stuck in a particular problem you decide how much time you want to give per marks and spend that uh, that much time on a particular problem you have to be calculative before entering into the examination center that's why for uh, full length tests are very uh, essential so that you can uh, you can uh, make a perfect measure about uh, the marks and the timing okay now, tip number three what is that revise short notes on a regular basis okay so i don't need to tell much about it i have already discussed this uh, thing several times so you will understand tip four tip number four is okay this is very important develop a habit of reading the question carefully why this is very important suppose you are getting a familiar type of questions but you are not reading it carefully and you are uh, you are trying to find out something which is not even asked in the question so at least 
read the question carefully and try to understand what exactly it is asking for uh, it is asking you to calculate then only you can find out the correct answer otherwise you will definitely incur some mistake so tip 4 is very important at tip 5 i have kept uh, to promise yourself what you will promise that you will not make any mistake during the exam this should be your promise before starting the examination you will not make any a single mistake okay accuracy will be your topmost priority because if you attempt 45 marks then 45 marks should be correct then you can you will be getting a good rank and suppose if you attempt 70 marks and you are um, being ended up with only 35 marks then that will not help so keep in mind that whatever you answer you are answering it correct okay so these five tips i am sharing with you for the timing in the upcoming videos i will try to upload some get uh, exam preparation strategy in the last uh, few days and i will be also providing some precaution and tips uh, in near future okay so those who are new here uh, please uh, subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon and finally thanks for watching mm -hmm.